<laughs> Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I am going to let you know what my new weight is in just a second because today is weigh in Wednesday. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So I have kept my weight off since I started losing weight um, in July of 2020. That's when I started taking my health more seriously. And I'm recording this video in March of 2023. So I've been on a natural weight loss journey for almost three years. And um, on this vlog, I will do, I will share with you all of the bad food I've eaten and the lies that I've told myself as well as my non-scale victories for this week. Okay, so all the stuff that I'm talking about is only pertaining to this week only. I do want to share with you a disclaimer. I'm not focused on a number on a scale. I'm more so concerned about changing my behaviors so that I can obtain and sustain a healthy lifestyle. So my method for being healthy is changing one or two behaviors each year that lead me to obtaining a healthy lifestyle and the consequences of that healthy lifestyle is I end up losing weight and getting fit and keeping the weight off, okay? So um, my goals, my health goals for 2023 were to have my breakfast consist of four servings of raw vegetables and 60 ounces of water and then to also walk for an hour before I go to work. And this is the number that I am really, really proud of. I have been doing that 97% of the time for this month and also for the past three months. So, woo Go me. Now, unfortunately, I've been eating too much junk food. Even though I've been meeting my goals 97% of the time, the junk food that I'm eating is counteracting my progress. So last week, I shared with you all how I gained four pounds from the $60 worth of junk food that I ate. So today, um, I'm going to report to you that, hooray, I lost those four pounds. Last week, I came in at 267 pounds, and this week, your girl is... 260 pounds. All right. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I did it, y'all. So I changed my behaviors. Stop eating all that junk food. Stop ordering two orders of my favorite meal and having it delivered to me and just eating like I am a mad fool. Okay, I stopped that. I rectified my behaviors and the consequences of me changing my behaviors are now showing and I'm at 260 pounds. Yay! Whew. I haven't been close to the 250 pound range since 2012. It's now 2023, you know what I'm saying? So yes, I'm very excited. So rather than you sit here and hear me scream on the camera, um, let's keep rolling with this. All right, um, well how about if I share my non-scale victories? Okay, I'll talk about that. All right, so as far as my non-scale victories for the past week, I've noticed that my belly button is higher it's not like droopy, it's like pointed out. And it's also more rounder as opposed to just being sag 
sagged down with fat. My stomach in general is higher. It's sitting up more. Um, at church, I take notes. And I go to church three times a week. And when I'm taking my notes, sometimes my pen will fall. Because I might be like, amen, with my pen and my clipboard in my hand. Or I'll be doing something and then my hand comes down and then I'll, the pen will fall. And it usually falls behind me between the seat that is next to me and over into the next row. And multiple times I've tried to stick my arm through the little um, area between the back of the seat and the part where you set your rump. So there's a part where you set your back and a part where you set your rump and then there's a space in between. Many times when my pen has fallen, I've tried to stick my hand in between there and it doesn't work out and I have to find another way to get my pen. But this past week when I stuck my hand in between there, I was able to actually successfully like get my hand all the way in between there, grab my pen and get back to the process. I didn't have to like use something else to drag it closer to me so that I can try to <laughs> get it. So yeah, um, I also noticed that I have like, when I was looking in the mirror, there's a new ligament or something. I don't know what you call this or muscle, but I noticed like some muscle sticking out of my neck. So there's like a new little buddy that I have here that's on my neck. I don't know if I can show it to you, but when I just happened to be in the mirror, I was like, oh, I got a ligament or something. Tendon, tissue, muscle, I don't know what it's called. Um, also, my body in general, my body in general, instead of her being like spread, like, what was that character's name? Slimer on Ghostbusters, instead of her just being all spread out, it's cupping up more. It's like, cupping it's sucking itself in more as if I have a human suit that like like I'm like I'm an elastic spandex suit as if my skin is like that so it's just sucking itself up more as opposed to it being all everywhere um and <laughs> When I go to the restroom and my body is processing stuff, there isn't an odor. It's not much of an odor at all. So, another thing is I was randomly looking at myself. I don't know if I was reaching for something or whatever. And I noticed that my forearms right here are smaller, which gives testament as to why I was able to reach my arm through the seats at church. But yeah, I was like, I was staring at my forearm and I'm like, I'm not used to my body being this narrow and tight. I'm used to having, sorry, my refrigerator wants to talk to us. Ah, and I'm going to unplug it. Sorry for that interruption. I forgot to unplug my refrigerator. So yeah, I'm not used to my arms being, or any part of my body really, being like smaller and not without a lot of fat on it. Um, I was at Trader Joe's and I think their cashiers are trained to make conversation with folks because it seems like whenever I go to Trader Joe's, the cashiers want to be your therapist. <laughs> I think they're just like told, hey, make conversation with the customers. And um, I was getting my groceries and the guy asked me, where are the double chocolate chip cookies? And I'm like, what, huh, what? You know, I'm finish grocery shopping, I'm tired, I want to go home, and he's like asking me some bizarre question. I'm like, what? And he's like, you're eating like way too healthy. He didn't say that I was eating way too healthy. He just said, there's nothing but health food here. 
because I had, you know, my avocados, oranges, cucumbers, um, carrots, and all the other stuff that you guys see in my refrigerator for the most part, except for the nuts, um, when I show you guys what I have in my home each week. So, I was like, oh, okay. So, I got a compliment for having very healthy food, and he wanted to know where are the double chocolate chip cookies because there's nothing in my order that is unhealthy, which, hey, I consider that good, especially for somebody who works at a natural health food store like Trader Joe's, and um, he checks out people all day long. For him to make that comment, I, I consider that like, hey, that's great. I'm really doing something. I would think a lot of people who shop at natural health food stores would be shopping the way I am, but I don't know. So, um, I went to a bridal shower and if you look on my channel, you can find the video of me recording what I ate while I was at the bridal shower. I chose to bring my own food as opposed to, um, eat the food that they were going to have because I figured it would not be vegan nor would it be healthy and it would be a lot of sweets and sugars and and all that stuff that I didn't really want to um, counteract my health efforts so at the bridal shower when they were serving food when people had multiple different types of cupcakes and sugars and there were meatballs and I saw some noodles. Maybe it was spaghetti. I don't know because I didn't go up to get any food. And there was all kinds of stuff there, all kinds of food. I was not tempted, even though I could smell it. You know, there were egg rolls. There were, I don't know everything. That was it. But I was not tempted. I did not want it. I did not desire it. I did not miss it. Normally when I smell something greasy or burning meat, I'm like, oh, I remember those days. But then I remind myself, what are the consequences of eating that? Is that stuff actually healthy or is it overly processed and deadly? So while at the bridal shower, I had my food and I enjoyed it and I shared some of it with other with one, another person. And um, she was quite shocked that a date was so sweet and really good. And also, I didn't have to wait in a line to get my food because I already had my food prepared. So I consider that a non-scale victory because normally when I'm trying to eat healthy and I see others around me that are eating what I used to eat, years ago, I would feel like, oh man, I'm missing out. But now I don't feel that way. I feel very happy and very successful. And here is another real kicker, okay? So, I, I like to weigh myself several times a day. I like doing, I just like seeing the differences um, in how much I can weigh throughout a day. I can weigh seven pounds, 10 pounds different in one day, throughout the day. So, when I came home from the bridal shower, I don't know if it was like the night, be at, like the that night or that morning but within 12 hours of coming home from that bridal shower and me eating healthier guess what happened I stepped on the scale and it said 257 pounds I was like oh. Is this my Miss America moment? <laughs> Where I get to be like, <gasps> you know. For those of you who have been fighting to lose weight and get healthy, and you make a major breakthrough where you see yourself at a weight that you haven't seen in decades or over a decade. So that moment right there 
showed me that being prepared and having your own food as opposed to falling down or giving in or going backwards, it's worth it. It is so worth it. So now my mind associates the healthy food bringing healthier consequences. Don't settle. Don't settle. So now, as I try to regain my composure, I'm trying to regain my composure, y'all. Um, the lies that I've told myself this week. And I might seem a little weird or awkward because I'm still bursting with joy inside. Okay, so I might seem a little awkward for a few moments. The lies that I've told myself this week are, this guy blew a kiss to me. And I'm like, did he just blow me a kiss? I'm like, no. He, he just happened to go like this while I was looking at him. He didn't blow me no kiss. And I was like, Alicia, he obviously blew you a kiss, okay? So that was a lie that I told myself. Um, when I was heavier, it wasn't like I wouldn't get attention, but I, I'm getting a lot more attention and a lot more overt attention. So, um, yeah. Now on to the unhealthy food that I've eaten this week. Last week I ate $60 worth of unhealthy food and this week I had $28 worth of unhealthy food. So I did have three churros this week. Each of these cost me a dollar and 61 cents. I'm going to work on getting these out of my system, supposedly. And every Sunday, I treat myself out to eat. And I, um, I go to usually either a Mexican restaurant, but lately I've been going to this Mediterranean restaurant. And I order this veggie wrap. It has all types of vegetables in it. And um, I also get hummus and two pita breads. So the vegetables in here are olives, cabbage, lettuce, marinated onions, marinated carrots, um, tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplant, and down here is some hummus. And then this is like a super huge wheat tortilla. You can see in comparison to the dollar, it's about $2 large. And um, this meal cost me about $18, almost $19. And I enjoy it very much. So here's the size of the hummus container that I get. And here are the wrappers. For the veggie wrap and the um, and the pita bread. So you see that I did not restrict myself from eating out or eating things that are sugary and not necessarily healthy and are unhealthy. And I still got positive results. And that's what I'm about. I don't want people to do things that. are agitating or begrudging or with a begrudging spirit. I'm about let's find a way where we can enjoy life and lose weight and be healthy without necessarily restricting ourselves or confining ourselves. Um, I don't like the word moderation. I don't feel like that really suits me, but I am about being real and living life in a real way. So thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. Your girl is 260 pounds and she saw herself at 257 at a certain time this week. And hey, 
Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. We're going to get it. Bye.